Hari Om. In this session, we begin with the 11th standard physics, the first chapter called Units and Measurements. Units and Measurements. As you people start studying physics from 6th standard onwards, you are very familiar with uh, this words called units and also machines. But when I ask a question, what is a physical quantity? You will get confused. So we begin with the very fundamental part of physics. That is why this chapter is given in the beginning of your 11th standard. So, first of all, we discuss as physical quantities. Physical quantities. What are physical quantities? It's very simple. Anything that can be measured directly or indirectly are called physical quantities. Definition you understood is very simple. Anything that can be measured directly or indirectly are called physical quantities. Examples you got many. Let us start with quantity mass Force, pressure, momentum, area, velocity, length, height, like the time, like that anything that can be measured is called physical quantity. But in that statement, one point is mentioned directly or indirectly. It's because in physics we are dealing with the macro system that is very large quantities that can be seen, that can be tangible, touch and feel, that are called macro systems. And we will be dealing with micro, but nowadays we are going further low value called nano systems. So those quantities cannot be measured directly so we go for some other experiments and some indirect method for measuring it. That is why in the definition we gave directly or indirectly. For example, measurement of radius of the nucleus. You cannot do it with a meter scale or a centimeter scale. You cannot. It will be depending on some other units. So, Quantities understood, what are physical quantities we understood. And these physical quantities are divided into basically two categories. Basically two. They are base quantities base quantities or fundamental quantities and two derived quantities base quantities and derived quantities base quantities are very limited that is independent and Actually, there are seven base quantities we have to discuss. Or we listed seven quantities as base quantities. But quantities which can be obtained from base quantities are called 
derived quantities. So let us see the difference between base quantities and derived quantities. So base quantities, they are fundamental or base independent quantities. So we list that base quantities are mass, then length, then time, electric current, then temperature, then luminous intensity, and seventh one, amount of substance. You are familiar with the quantities except these two mass we know mass means you'll be confused with it. when I ask for mass you'll be defining weight mass is the amount of substance contained in a body or quantity of matter contained in a body. Length. This length includes basically length, breadth, height. All these things are coming under this one. Time. Very familiar. But to define time it is very difficult. What is time? Duration only you see. Time duration means the time lag between two consecutive events. For example, sunrise and sunset, or sunrise and next sunrise, like that. Then, electric current, flow of charges comes through electric current, temperature, temperature is the state that measures the hotness of the body. Then luminous intensity comes as relating to light. Intensity of light is taken as luminous intensity. Luminous means lighting, giving out light. Then amount of substance. What is amount of substance? This is coming in chemistry as we measure the quantity of gas, mass of gas not, not is measured in what? Kilograms and all then we take another separate unit called mole. That mole represents what you call amount of substance. Now these are the seven fundamental quantities you are supposed to understand. Now any quantity which are obtained from this Fundamental quantities are called derived quantities. So after noting all these seven, you have to write out this one. And let's go for examples for derived quantity. Derived quantity also we can study from your previous knowledge. For example, speed. Is the distance travelled by time? Distance travelled by time? So distance, length, fundamental quantity. Time, another fundamental quantity. So from two fundamental quantities, we are getting another quantity, so this quantity is known as derived quantities. Like that many you can see. For example, 
uh, area area of an object you call it as length into breadth length into breadth so length fundamental quantity breadth also is a length so when you have two lengths one greater than the other the greater one we call it as length of the body and the lesser one we call it as breadth that's all so like this you can list many quantities under the heading derived quantities but while studying physics there are two more quantities are appearing and those quantities are not coming independently but it comes as along with other quantities either derived quantity or fundamental quantity along with these quantities they are appearing. and those two quantities are plane angle means the angle that can be subtended on a plane so this is an you represent theta plane angle and another one is solid angle solid angle denoted by omega so this is a three dimensional angle angle subtended by an area is called so that if i represent like this so at this particular point there will be an angle coming that is subtended by this particular area that angle is called what solid Conical angle, you can see, or three-dimensional angle, you can see. So these two quantities are listed under supplementary quantities. They come along with other. So only two supplementary quantities. So what are the things we understood from this one? Physical quantities, classification of quantities. base quantities or fundamental quantities derived quantities then supplementary quantities okay so this are the starting point of this chapter of physical quantities so we continue the session and the next session we will be discussing units Okay. Thank you.